We now know the name of the officer involved in Saturday's shooting. Mayor Robert Smith says Jerry Booth was the officer involved, and he's now on paid administrative leave. Earlier today, city leaders held a press conference releasing new information about the shooting. Our Parker King was at that press conference and joins us live in the studio with more. Members of several boards came to watch the body camera footage taken by Officer Jared Booth, the officer involved in the shooting. Rumors have been floating around about the details of the shooting, but with this meeting, city leaders hope that they can put these rumors to rest. Columbus police and city leaders hope to provide some answers to both city councilmen and the police overview committee after Saturday morning's shooting leaves a community confused. We gave them an opportunity to look at the video mm -hmm. and, and get an idea. So when their constituents confront them about some of the end, end of that are going on out there, mm -hmm. then they'll have first-hand information. One of these rumors is the victim, 24-year-old Raymond Davis, had a weapon placed on his person. This is one rumor police are trying to disprove. The young man uh, did have a pistol in his uh, possession. This is the second officer-involved shooting in two years. Previous issues with transparency gives the current administration a push to give citizens answers as they come. Well, from the mayor and city council standpoint, it's very important to be open and transparent, and we learned a lot from the last uh, incident that occurred mm -hmm. with a police officer and one of our citizens. I try and let them see and, and dispel some of the rumors that were out there that we were facing that, uh, you know, created this anger within the community. Officer Jared Booth is the policeman involved in the shooting and is now on paid administrative leave. This isn't his first time on leave with the department as a few months ago he was put on suspension for questionable social media posts. Regardless, CPD is thankful he turned his body cam on to provide information on this shooting. Based on what I've seen, what you will see hopefully in the days to come and, and people in the community will see, uh, you know, will help change uh, the opinion they have of this incident. CPD has a meeting with MBI tomorrow and hopes to have some of the body camera footage out for the public within the next few days.